This seance was recorded on the 27th of April 1974, medium Leslie Flint. Hello, Mickey. Oh, I remember you. You're that posh lady from abroad. Oh, <laughs> from where? The posh lady, you know. <laughs> you have a lot to do with um, women's clothes and that, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. I'm delighted to be speaking to you. You look quite a case, haven't you? I don't know. Oh, I think you are. In what way am I a case? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't go into all that. Take a long time, wouldn't it? <laughs> I like you, though. I think you're very nice. You're very posh, aren't you? No, I don't think I am posh. Oh, I think you are. I, I just look posh because, um... No, but I mean, you're an old lady, aren't you? Oh, I'm, I'm an old lady. No, she's a real lady. <laughs> How do you answer questions like that? The statements like that? It's embarrassing. <laughs> Mickey, don't be so personal. Because you're a friend of the cookies, aren't you? Yes, great friend. Yeah, I don't know these. They're nice, those two, aren't they? I like them very much indeed. There's a lot of people here for you this morning. My goodness me. Really? Your mum's here, you know. Really? Yes, your mum is very close to you today. And strange as it may seem, though you may not remember if you haven't got a good memory for dates, it's a special anniversary just about now. In yes. May. In May? Yes. Never mind. Yes. Just, just hold on. Your mum is very close to you, and she comes to watch over you and helps you, and she's been a bit concerned about her other daughter. She has? Yes. Um, you have a sister. Yes. Hasn't she been too well? Well, um, you're right. Because your mummy says that um, she goes to see her, and although she puts a good front, as she calls it, uh, she's not as well as she might be, and your mummy's been trying to help her. Well, that... And by the way... Yeah. Um... Uh, what your mum keeps on about Jane? Jane? Yes. She's talking about Jane. Yes. Not quite Jane, is it? Well, wait a moment. Did you say Jane or Janie? Janie or Jenny? Jenny, Jenny. Janine, would it be? Janine, that's a funny name. J-A-N-I-N-E, would it be that? It's Janie, Janie something. Yes. Who's that's she? right. She's talking about Janie, Janie something. Yes, that's my other sister. Yes, she's talking about Janie. But she's Janie. with you. And she says, I'm to tell you that Janie is here with her. Yes. And they both send their love and blessings to you. And they're very anxious. Now, I hope you understand this. Not that you're contemplating anything at the moment, possibly. But your mummy wants you to be very firm. Um, your life has not gone as smoothly as some people might think, has it? No. Your personal life, I no. mean. I'm not talking so much about your business. No. You've had your problems. Yes. But your mum has been very conscious of your needs. And the sister, who loves you very much, she's very interested, of course, in helping you. And um, they've both been trying desperately to contact you in their own way. Actually, you may not know this, but at night when you're asleep, sometimes you come over here... Uh, you may not remember it as a dream even, but um, your sister particularly has been very close to you. I'm happy. You've got a flat? Yes. Yes. Very posh flat, ain't it? Sort of posh, yes. Well, what yeah. I mean is... It, it is. It's good taste. I suppose that's to be expected with you, ain't it? Because well, in a way, you... Um, if I may say so, I don't think I'm being rude. <laughs> but I think you stand out in your family. Um, you, you're rather different to the rest. Yours was a bit of an odd one out. Quite right. Quite it, right. It isn't that you're not fond of your family. No, no. It's just that you are rather different. And not, um, I don't know whether you'd call it ambitious, but um, possibly circumstances put you in a position where you were able to forge ahead and, and make something of your career, life and career. And in that sense, you are different. You've in some ways been more fortunate, but you took opportunity when it came with both hands. Yes, quite right. Whereas they didn't. 
quite right. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. And they're much more humdrum than you, ain't they? Yes, maybe. You know, I don't mean that unkind. No, no, of course but, not. But um, your sister's telling me a lot about you. And your sister that's here, she's Jen, Jenny, whatever yes. her name is, um, she's also talking about your father, too. Yes. But there was some separation, wasn't there? Well, uh, I don't know. Oh, don't yes, there was, definitely. Yes. Have you seen him? Pardon? Have you seen my father? Yes, I bring him forward now, you see. But, um, oh dear. Did your father wear uniform? Did I, my father? Yes. What did he, I didn't quite hear. Did he wear uniform? Well, at one time. Yes, there's a photograph of him, isn't there? Taken many years ago when he was a younger man in uniform. Absolutely. And this photograph was lost for a time. Was it? Yes, yes, hold on. And your mummy's telling me. And also your mummy, oh, you have to laugh. You have to see the funny side of things. <laughs> your mummy's got a beautiful ginger cat with her. Has she? I don't know if she was fond of cats. But no, I don't think she was. No, well, the extraordinary thing is, you see, that there's a crowd of people here with your parents and your sister, and there's a beautiful ginger cat. You couldn't get away from it, because it's a real ginger marmalade cat, That's you see. funny. And also, um... Your sister on earth, you yes. understand this, don't you? Has she got several things connected with your parents? Yes, and of course. Yes, and some books and things. Yes. And among these, your... F oh, dear. It's got nothing to do with my family. No, 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 no. Your sister's laughing. She's got a wonderful sense of humour. She's very bright. And she says that you have this china duck. And she says you may never have noticed it. But she tries to attract attention by trying to move objects. And she says the china duck that you have. Really? Uh, is it on the shelf? Yes. Because she says this shelf, you've got a china duck there, right? Yes. And she says, don't be surprised if, if you see this is moved. It's only a little something to let you know of her presence. How sweet. This sister's very drawn to you, you know. How sweet. I think this sister must have been very close to you. Yes, she was especially close to my other sister, the one I'm well, still Well, you see, her. the point is I could tell you this, you see, because this sister, bless her heart, Janine, she's so sweet. And she's so close to you. She takes such an interest in you. I think your family were very proud of you. Yes, they were. You were the Have my sister night. met anybody um, lately that has come up, that has um, come your side lately? Ah, well, I'll find out for oh, you. Do. Will you? Yes, just, yes a just a moment, love. Just hold on, Ducky. Yes. Just a minute. There's a gentleman here, yeah. not over tall. Yeah. He hasn't been here terribly long. No. This is the person you're on about, is it? Yes, this is what I'd like yes. to know if they're together. Yes, they are. Because she's smiling yeah. and she's brought this gentleman, pushed him forward, you might say. Yeah. And she says, I'm to tell you, they're now together and he's here standing beside her. Oh, I'm so happy. And I do you know who every do you know who P is? Do you know who this person is? What a moment. Somebody whose name begins with P. Do you know anyone called Paulie? Paulie. Now, what a moment. I've got it. Let's get it right. Now, don't think of family. No. Think of outside the family. Do you know who Pauline is? Pauline. I don't quite, but I'll think it over. Yes, all right, love. Um, there's a little group of people here, you see. And also, um, you've had something to do with royalty. Yes, you have, indirectly, because I'll tell you why, the Duke of Windsor's here. Really? Do you know his missus? <laughs> I have met her. Well, whether you... I mean, it's not much you can do about it, but um, the Duke of Windsor, as he was, is here. Yes. And he knows of you, and he obviously... What did you say? 
His missus, did she come to you for clothes? She has been. In the, in the, yes, but was this, um, was this in the 40s? Oh, I remember, oh, well, um, I remember uh, before the war, um, I, um, the Duke of Winter used to come and buy things from me. Well, this is it, you see, because he definitely knows you, and it is the Duke of Windsor, and um, he's very anxious, if it were possible, of yes. course, to get a message to his wife. I could. And uh, he knows that you know her, or you've had some link with her. Yes. She's not easily accessible, he no. says. And she's now finding great difficulty in walking. Quite right. Uh, I don't know whether she's got arthritis, but he says that she finds difficulty in moving, although she has bad spells. Um, you have got something also that you may have even forgotten you've got, and it links with those two. I yes, you have, I because you work, yes you do, mate, a lady, because, um, um, yes, I want you to tell me, I can't help it, do I? Hey, what's he ever called, Teddy? Oh, I believe he was, a uh, Mickey, I think Maybe. he was, his name was Edward, David. and I believe, I may be wrong, that I think when he was young, the pet name, family name, I may be wrong. I know people this. called him David a lot. Yes, well, But somewhere. maybe Teddy as well. I don't know. I may have been, I don't know. That's where the Teddy comes in, perhaps. Could be. Hmm. If it's, I don't know. I'll try and get the message to her. Will you tell? Will you tell the Duke of Windsor? I will try and get the message to the Duchess. Yes. You... links with royalty because he definitely knows you, he recognises you and um, didn't he used to come to your premises? Yes, to not, me? not uh, to where I worked, yes. many, many years ago. Yes, well he says that he definitely used to come where you was in business Yes, and he would wait. Do you understand what I mean? Well, I suppose if I was busy selling to somebody else. Oh, crabs. You've always had a lot to do with um, posh clothes and things, ain't you? Yes. And have you had need to do jewellery as well? Yes. Because you know me. Well, what yes, you yes I, did. I do. Yeah, yes. I did in the old days. Yes, at one period, there was a short period when you were caught up with jewellery as well. Yes. And was it that period when he came? Yes. Because that's what he's talking about. And um, would you know by any chance... Oh, oh what a moment. Oh, dear. Spain. Um, oh, yes. Oh, at yes. At the moment, Spain is... Yes. No, that's a country. What did you say? Mate? Oh, no. Spain. There's a woman here named... Nancy, Nancy Spain. Yes. Yeah. She's a, she's here. She's laughing. She's a bit butch, ain't she? A bit what? Podgy? Butch. Yes. I don't know whether that's a word, but she's laughing. When I and she sure, well, couldn't have been a butcher. Hey, what did you say? Butch, what do you mean, butch? She's laughing all over her face. Mm -hmm. She says, so what? She says, so what? She couldn't care less, she says, what people think. She says she's... Oh, crabs. She gave you a present. Yes. And you've still got it, haven't you? Of course. You? It's in the same room with a duck, isn't it? Yes, oh, yes. She's here, too. There's your sister here, your mother here, your father here. There's this here rather chubby woman, but um, masculine, rather. That's it. And she... Yeah, tell me more about her. Oh, she's getting on smashing. She's, oh, she says, I'm fine, she says. And she used to go 
to Ireland. Yes. He's talking about Ireland. Yes. Um, did you know her in Ireland? No. Because she's talking about going to Ireland, and she says she was with a friend. I what did you say? Oh, crabs. She says she was killed in a dis- air, p- mm-hmm. an air crash. Right. Quite right. She says people never quite understood her. She says that, um... I understood her. Yes, you did. But that some people didn't understand her because of her attitude at times. But she said, um... She's met someone here. She said, why don't you just say that? Now, why don't you speak yourself? (laughs) What did she say that? He's telling, why don't you speak yourself? Yes, why don't you, Spainy? You said you would one day. Jenny. Jenny. Yes. Jenny. I can hear you. I think she's saying, how are you? Sounds like that. I'm all right. you've got something of hers and it's in a wardrobe yes she left it behind yes she stayed with you well I got it and put it in the wardrobe she stayed with me often yes she says she stayed with you and you've got this is it a coat or a mac or something yes a coat quite right a coat she says you've got it in a wardrobe still yes She used to wear trousers, didn't she? Quite right, yes. She hardly ever wore a skirt. Never. She did sometimes. But yeah, she only for a special occasion. Yes. When it was a cocktail or a special do or something. Yes. Because she says she liked to feel free. Yes. She was very fond of you, you know. Thank goodness. Hold on. Yes. You're here with me, is that what you've said? Jenny. Jenny? I thought she said I'm here with Janine. Oh, really? Maybe. But she, Jenny, she calls me Jenny. That's my name. I'm calling Jenny, yes. Can you hear me? Oh, damn this thing. <laughs> what is that? She's a damn this thing, she says. <laughs> Oh, but how lovely to speak to you. I'm desperately trying to get through and speak through this thing. But, but I, I can hear you. Terribly difficult. But I am here. I say, can you hear me, Jenny? Yes, I can. I just wanted you to know I'm here. You know, I come and see you quite a lot. Oh, thank you. I do try as far as I can to be of some help. How are things? Pretty well. How are things in the book world? Did you say? No, she said, how are things? Yes. Pretty well. All right, all right. I think she's asking me about your affairs, how yes. you are. All right, all right. How lovely to hear your voice. You said I would one day. Yes. You know, I had a feeling about that damn plane, you know. That damn plane, you can say that again. Yes. Never mind, I wouldn't come back to live. I don't mind. I'm very happy here. You are? Yes, I say. You still got that coat in your wardrobe. I didn't get that. You still got my coat. Yes. Keep it. Of course, I'll keep it. What about what about the bracelet? What is bracelet? What is she? Bracelet. Your watch. Yes. Of course, and the rings. Yes. You 
I've got them on. Good. I thought, I thought. Oh, damn, this thing is a blasted thing. This trying to speak to you through this. But I just want you to know I'm here. I said, if I can get the hang of it, probably be able to come and talk intelligently. But it isn't easy. I'm sure. I just want you to know I'm here. And I give you all my love. Thank and you. Don't worry. I have to now and then. I know. <laughs> you get lonely. Yes. Yes, but know that I'm around you, and not only me, your own people. I say I met your mother, and your father, and I've met so many other people here. Some I used to know myself, others that I didn't know, of course, friends of yours as well. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, beautifully. Are you doing another book? Yes, I, I hope so. It's being talked about this weekend. I know. I always felt that it was you helping with that. I miss you. Have you got a lift? Yes. Just have a go wrong with it. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, she's talking about a lift. Yep. In your apartment, is it or something? Right. Because she says that um, she remembers coming up and down in the lift to your place. Quite right. And once it's stuck. Yes. She loves you. Does I she? think she must have really spent a lot of time with you one way and another. Yes, And does. I think that she understood you better than most. Every and you understood her. And um, I know this sounds so stupid because I know that. She's not the kind of person, from what I gather anyway, to wear a wig. Yep. But there is a joke about a wig. I don't remember it. No. But do you know anything about a ball? It's a sort of fancy costume outfit. Not really. No, all right, don't let it worry. It's not important, I suppose. Mm -hmm. She must have gone somewhere to a fancy dress ball. Maybe. And, um... It was quite a joke. You might not have been present. I don't know why no. she mentions it. No, Hold no. on. Oh, Christ. <laughs> What's it now? Do you know who Luella is? Luella? Yeah. She's your friend, um, this lady, this, yes. um, she's talking about Luella. I don't see who it can be with me. <coughs> she says she's meeting them all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wonder. She says that um, when on earth it was her job to meet all these people. Yes. And now she says she's meeting a lot of them over here. Yes. And um, seeing a different side to them. And she's funny. She's got a funny way of putting it. She says she sees the other side of the picture. And she says um, she sees them from a different angle. She must have written a lot about people. Yes, she did. And I think she sometimes could be a bit... Well, she's using the word, not me, caustic. You bet. And she says that she always wrote what she felt to be true. Yes. But sometimes people didn't like it. That's for sure. And she said once she had a set to her, somebody had a set to her one, with her once. Yes, quite right. Uh, it was a sort of almost a fight. Right. And you know about this, don't you? Yes, I do. And she says it was um, quite funny, really. Yeah, she thought it was funny. She thought it was very funny, but you were apprehensive. Yes. <laughs> it upset you a bit. Well, I mean, I was worried that because uh, she might have got hurt. Yeah, she says you should. Say. She said, don't you worry, I can look after myself. <laughs> She's a case, you know. She could be so kind and sweet, yes. and yet she had quite a temper. Yes. She admits this herself. Yes. Hold on. She calls somebody a bitch. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, she says she was a stupid bitch. Who does she mean? 
discuss the person. Well, she might mean many, many people. What about um, probably the person she had the sex She says with. that stupid bitch. I'm sorry I have to say this, but she says all oh, her hats were bigger than her head. She says. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, she's laughing, she's got a funny sense of humor. She says she wore these great big hats, but as for her writing, well. Do you know who Hopper is? Hoppery? Hopper. Hopper. But well, she's talking about all the. Uh, sort of journalists, is that what she means? Ah. She's laughing. She says, um, she's so interested in you, and she's met so many friends, people she used to know, or people she um, was interested in, you know? Yes. Oh, Christ. I wonder who she's met lately. Well, she's met your, she's your sister's husband. Oh, yes. Because she says, you, I know who she means, she says, you tell her I've met him. Yes. And he's here with them today. It's your sister's husband, ain't it? Yes. He is. hasn't been here terribly long. No. And it was a bit of a shock, because it all happened rather sudden. Yes, it did. He hadn't been well, mind you, yeah. but it seemed very sudden at the end. But he's been all there together, are they? Oh, yes. You're going to see a publisher. Yes. You got an appointment fixed. Yes, I saw him yesterday. Well, aren't you going again then? Because she says she knows all about what you fixed up with the publisher. Yes. And she was there, but she says you'll be going again. I suppose so. Um, where's the Fulberg? The what? I don't understand. It's a funny name. Where's the Faubourg? Faubourg. Yes, Faubourg. Yes. Faubourg. I don't pronounce it properly. Yes. Say. Yes. But do you know where that is? Yes, of course I do. You've got any connection with it? No. Faubourg I don't know. I know. But still, I go there often. And she says you. She was with you the other day, and you were walking, and it was in the Faubourg. That's quite right. Faubourg. Fou I don't yes. pronounce it properly. That's right. You do pronounce it quite all right. I'd like to speak them that languages, because you speak them, I suppose you speak several, do you? Only two, English and French. Oh, but you're not really French, are no, you? No, not really. This is French by adoption almost, isn't it? Yes. And yet you... Oh, gosh. She's a case, this uh, Nancy woman. Is she? Spain woman, yeah, oh, she's a case. She really is a character. Very lovable character, really. Very. A real bundle. <laughs> <laughs> bundle. She's a darling. You know, it's extraordinary about, um, about the Duke of Windsor, because he does remember you, and he remembers you on several occasions. Once, must have been just before the war, I should think. Something to do with jewellery. Do you follow me? Yes. Um, and later, when you was with that posh um, uh, dress firm in Paris. Yes. Because that was when his missus was doing business, wasn't she? Yes, but I didn't meet him then, unfortunately. No. But Nancy um, Spain met him. And oh, she's yeah. on That's what she brought him, you know. She, oh, Nancy brought him. Because, um... She knew everybody. Yes. She loved you. Um, she she liked was him. very fond of him, I think. Very fond of him. And she says that um, she and uh, David, um, the pri whatever he was, Prince of Wales, whatever he was, yeah. were, were quite friendly. Yeah. What an interesting life you've had, haven't you? Yes, I have. You still touch your hair up, do you? Yes. Because <laughs> Nancy's on about it. She says that you do it so nicely and discreetly. Well, I'm glad she approves. She took a great interest in your appearance as well. Uh, she didn't bother so much about her own, she said. But she only when it was necessary. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. She said she looked like something that the cat had dragged in sometimes, but she said, so what? 
But she said yours looked well turned out. And you tried to help her with her clothes, didn't you? Quite right. And she didn't always take, well, advice, did she? Oh, but often did. Yeah, often did, but yeah. um, there were times when she didn't see eye to eye, but that was her. And she keeps on about black and white. Why? Don't know. Well, she's showing me, I'm sorry if you don't understand this, she's showing me, it uh, looks like a black and white hat. Hat? But, yes, not for her. So, no. no, she'd never wear a hat. But she's showing me a hat, and it's a white hat with a big rim, and there's like black ribbon or something on it. And it's a special significance about this hat. Well, that I don't understand at all. No, I, that's all right. No, I, don't, I hardly ever wore a hat. No, no, no. Don't misunderstand. She wouldn't have worn it. Not. She said not for anything. But and me neither. No, nor you. All right. But um, there's a significance about this hat. She says, do you remember standing, looking in a window, where there were three hats? It must have happened so often. Maybe. But um, she laughed, she said, and she was very amused about some of these hats. Never mind, it's not important. Does the name Rolf mean anything? Rolf? Mm -hmm. Not really, no. R O L F, Rolf. Rolf. No, all right, hold on. I might be getting off the track a bit. Hold on. Yes, sir, but I don't want no interference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't quite always get it. No, what he sometimes it? talks to people yes. uh, on, like an aside, you yes, know. And what was that as well? And he said, uh, well, what was it just said? I don't want any interference, he said <laughs> to somebody. But probably somebody else is trying to butt in that's got nothing to do with you, you see. on a motoring tour with somebody yes because she says that she will be with you uh, on this trip mm -hmm. and you're going on a car trip or something yes with somebody yes and um she's rather surprised I think she said but she, um She said it's hardly the place to go at the moment. <laughs> She's rather surprised that you're going there. Yes, I don't wonder, because it's Ireland. Oh. Well, there's a lot of trouble up there, ain't there? Yes, well, I was thinking of going to the place where there wasn't trouble. Well, you never know, do you? Um, you're going with a bloke. Yes. Well, she's laughing. <laughs> she's, ha <laughs> she's funny. <laughs> she says, she, oh, God. Yeah, she says, uh, she'll be with you. She says, two's company, three's none, but <laughs> she says, I'm going to be there just the same. <laughs> hmm? She's a strange woman, ain't she? Yes. You once had your fortune told. Oh, yes. Yeah, but she knows something special about this. Was it with cards? I have had it done with cards. You're going to have a socialist government, aren't you? In France? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. She's talking about governments now. Well, and she's talking about socialists. Well, that may be here. Is it here or in France? I don't know. She don't know why she should be interested in politics. Oh, she was. She says the socialists will scrape through. Oh, that's in France then. Presumably. Do you expect it then? Well, but nobody knows. It's quite soon. She seems to think that's why the balance. I don't know what she means. Yeah. You've got um. Oh, now this doesn't make sense. I'm sure it doesn't. Why is she on about Switzerland? 
Yes, I, I, that's quite... You can just go on. I understand what she means. Well, she's very interested in what's happening in regard to you in Switzerland. And um, what else? I mean, has she brought somebody to see me who used to live in Switzerland? Well, I don't know. She, she's laughing again. She's a case. And she says she knows how interested you are in the Swiss contact. And the person that's here was living in Switzerland yes, at one period. Yes, I've been wanting so badly. And she says that, um, you know, there have been quite a few changes where that person used to live. Did you know? Yes, obviously, because he isn't there anymore. He's well, busy. she says that she's brought him here today. Yes. And that um, since his passing, obviously, as you say, there have been certain changes in regard to where he was living, you see. Yes. And this gentleman is most anxious for her to know he's well and happy. That and Nancy must have known him. Yes. Because she's brought him here today. And that I hoped he'd come. I think of him a great deal. I think he was fond of you as well, you see. I think he was. I think there was a close link. Well, I always hoped it. And um, I was devoted to him. Well, he loved you in his way, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yes, exactly. I hope so. Yes, he was. He was very drawn to you, and he was very fond of you. But circumstances, well, made it difficult. Do you know what I mean? Well, I mean, uh, as long as he was fond of me, I was fond of him. No, I just don't have fond of this gentleman was extremely fond of you, and you were very fond of him. Yes. But um, there were problems in his life, difficulties. Yes. Which you may not have known about, I don't know. Did he have some internal trouble? Did he have some... Internal trouble? Yes. He had a growth or something? I don't know exactly what he died of. I don't know exactly. You don't know? Oh, no, not mind. exactly. Uh, yet I don't think he was Swiss, but... No, he wasn't. He wasn't Swiss, and yet he lived in Switzerland. Right. That's what I'm being told, anyway. Quite he right. was not actually a Swiss, but he lived in Switzerland. Yes. And his interests and affairs were there. And I think his money must have been there, of course. Yes, it was. <laughs> I think he deliberately did something. He won't tell me what it is. He? Did something rather special. Oh, and how? And he was very talented. Very. And artistic. Yes. And creative. Yes. And uh, he was... Um, and funny and gorgeous. Yeah, he was a character. You bet. And uh, he was temperamental. Yes. Uh, and uh, very artistic. He was very attached or drawn to you as a human being. And he keeps on about a picture. Oh, it's unbelievable, yes. It, 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 I've got his picture. It, it, you've got this picture. Yes. And um, I'm so grateful to him for it. And he did it specially for you. I... It's uh, wonderful that he's left he, me he a picture. He did it specially for you, didn't he? He left me a picture. Well, all I know is that he wanted you to have this special picture. Yes. And it was a special remembrance of affection from him to you. It's and wonderful. And you had it spe specially placed somewhere. Do you understand all this? Yes, every word. I yes. hoped that Nancy would bring him. Yes, wait a moment. And she keeps on about pick. Pick. Wait a moment. He hasn't been here all that long, this man, no. has he? Well, he was an artist, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, very famous artist. Very he? famous. And he keeps on about his... He says, you know, I didn't paint all those. No. He's funny. He says that um, he left a lot of pictures behind. Yes. But some... I don't understand this. Has there been some argument going on about his affairs since his passing? Not ri n Not him. Me... No, I, do. I mean, if it's whom I think it is, the one who lived in Switzerland, I don't think there's been any argument at all. Well, I don't know, I haven't said no time. I'll, I'll sort it out. Yes. Well, this man is quite a character. He is. Very creative, very artistic. Uh, his paintings, some of them are quite famous, haven't they? Do you can't get his name, can you? Just a moment. Do try. 
Can you get his name, Mickey? P? P, he saying something about P now. That came very early on, this business of P, didn't it? Yes. Wonder what it was, P. Mm. There were two of my friends who died the same week. The one with the picture, I'm sure, in, in Switzerland is clear. Did he also paint views? Yes, he did. Scenery, scenic picture. Yes, he did. Because this is a scenic picture, ain't it? Yeah, well, the one, uh, the one he left to me, he didn't paint. But I have one that he's painted of a scenic picture. Well, you see, this is it. He's talking about I've got a two. scenery. One is a scenery. Yes. And the other one is of a person. No. Well, wait a moment. Why is he showing me... Just, just a moment. What does he look... He won't tell you his name? Now, hold on. I'm trying to think up. And there's something about a person. There's something about... I, I, I... There's whispering. I can't quite get it. In the head. Yes, I told her, but she doesn't understand. He's met someone he calls Pablo. He's met someone called Pablo. Pablo what? Pablo. Pablo. Yes. Yes. Picasso. Well, he says something about he's met Pablo. Yes. Do you understand that? Oh, it must be Picasso. Yeah, probably. Because he was an artist. Yes, he was. They, they must have known each other. Probably. Probably. I'm not certain. And who's Henri? Henri? Henri. I don't know. There are so many, I don't know. Mm. Henri. Oh, yes? Never mind. He's met Henri? Yes, he's met someone who calls Henri. Yes? To connect with his family. You may not know. Can I ask you what his name is, if I think what it is? Can I say? No, no, leave it to me. Right. Don't push too hard. Sorry. Let it come natural. Mm -hmm. When it's to come, it'll come, mate. You know, you <laughs> can't force nothing. <laughs> but it's him all right. Of course, I'll, 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 I'll Spain, Nancy has brought him, and, and your mum and your sister, and they're all here, you know. But they're not all exactly on my vibration. I have to tune in all the time. Hold on. It's difficult for you to understand that. Oh, what's all that about then? Animals. Animals? Animals. Dogs. Yes, dogs. Someone saying Peter. Peter. Very faint, but it sounds Peter. like Peter. Someone's called it. Very soft. being said about a flower picture. Yes. You know, if it's possible, but you know he hasn't been here all that long. No. But of course it takes time. Of course. You have to get used to the whole thing. But he was here a few moments ago. Can you hear me? I can hear you beautifully. Oh, this is the first time you've spoken to me. I say, you've got to allow pictures. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. I love it. Yes, it's quite good actually, considering you know he was quite talented in that respect, quite apart from this. I didn't get that last. I say he was considerably quite talented artistically in that way. I mean, from the yes. point of view of painting, he could have been very good at anything. I think. Yes. 
But he had other things to do? Yes, I think you knew him. I say I met Mom. You met Mom? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can hear you, darling. I wish I could speak properly. I find it all damned and irritating speaking like this. I hope you can catch what I'm saying. Yes, but it's but wonderful. I just wanted you to know that I, apart from the obvious, you know, I mean, the crowd of people I say, you know, David, he tried to manifest earlier in the session. Who uh, is this known? But you see, Danny, what you want to remember is that you're about the only person that knows most of the people that want to make contact, you know. I mean, you perhaps can help somebody here and there, but he's so anxious to reach her, you know, David. Uh, you mean that the Duke of Windsor? Yes, she's so anxious to get in touch with her. Of course, she doesn't really know much about this at all. No. And of course, she's very close to coming over, I think. You know. Yes. Who, who does? No. no. Yes. Yes. I send my yes. in my love. And you know, we had some jolly good times together one way and another, didn't we? Yes. I say, I, I just don't want you to be too perturbed about anything. Take each day as it comes. Yes. Be happy. I'll come with you on your tour. I say, I'll come with yes. you on your tour. Of yes. Island. But quite yes. frankly, I don't know why the hell you want to go there. Where do you think we ought to go? Well, I don't know. It's not for me to tell you where to go, but I mean the conditions are pretty grim. But anyway, you go where you want to go. Wherever you go, I'll go with you. I'll keep an eye on you. I say, do come and speak to us again soon. And, and, and uh, perhaps next time you'll be able to do much better. Hello, can you hear me? It's I wonderful say, hello, hello, hello. Um, Niles met Gertie. He's very happy to you know, be here now. He's sorted himself out. I say, I can't hold on the past gang. Cheerio. Yes. Yes, of course I've heard. I have to go now. But that, um, that gentleman who came or tried to get through that act of low, Mr. Coward, whatever his name is. Yes. Um, he's ever so pleased to be here today with your friends and that. And I think he'll try and contact you again. And I think also, um, um, the fact that you've got this picture he left you yes. is very glad because he was fond of you. I'm so you glad. Know, he thought you were a very nice person, obviously, and very talented. And um, he says uh, he's still composing yes. and he's looking for somebody who he can push the music through. Oh, yes. But he hadn't got much time for spiritualism, he said, when he was on earth. No, we aren't He says, about but it. you can tell his friends he's now a blind spirit. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye and bless you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, what was it? A blind spirit? Yes, you realise, oh. don't you? Yes, of course. Extraordinary. Yes, and he, uh, can, I can tell his friends he's now a blind spirit. <laughs> now,